Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to OSCW TV exclusively from X Media Productions as we're getting ready for a leather strap match. Title versus mask. The champion John Malice against the champ uh, excuse me, against the challenger and former champion Hexen. Now, you may love him or you may hate him, but I really want Hexen to win because I don't want to see that face is under that mask. Ooh, uh, strong words from Jared the Man Shapiro as you see referee Scott Grady in the ring holding the strap as we await the arrival. And I believe the challenger is going to come out first. Yes, this is the monster Hexen. What lies behind that mask? We may find out. We may not. We may see Hexen regain the OSCW Intercontinental Championship. This is all part of Champions Challenge from Hanahan Recreation Center, July 10th, Old School Championship Wrestling. You see a Brett Wolverton ring announcer in the ring, along with referee Scott Grady. X imposing to the crowd that cold stare. Very impressive cold stare. He's been the OSCW Intercontinental Champion in the past, held that title for over a year, Jared Shapiro. John Malice just recently took it from him back in May. I believe that's a record, too, for probably any title right now. Right, and any title in OSCW. I think that's the longest reign we've had on record. As we await the arrival of the champion, Hexen with that, that cold stare towards that entryway, just looking on, staring coldly. Kind of a little, little rocking back and forth, I guess. I don't know if that helps him get warmed up, Jared, or what. Well, it definitely puts the fear into his opponents. You know, and I never noticed Hexen before. Look at the size of those feet. He's got to be wearing a size 15 or 16 shoe. That makes that big boot all that more impressive, I think, Jared. Well, I'd hate to be his uh, shoe salesman. Probably has to get those special orders as we see. You hear the music. We're waiting for the arrival of John Malice. What? Oh, no face paint this week. John Malice going au natural, so to speak. New gear, too. Oh, that's always good. I mean, why wear, why wear face paint when you have new gear, right? Right. We've got some, some, we got some new gear. He's holding that title. Making his way around. What a proud representative of the OSCW Intercontinental Championship is John Malice. I'd probably buy him a beer. You think so, huh? Yeah, not really. I'm cheap. Yeah. He might not buy you one. He may not even want to hang out with you, Jared. Sometimes it's hard to hang out with you here in the studio as we see the introductions from Brett Wolverton. And once again, let's remind the crowd of the stipulations here. John Malice, you must touch all four corners. Thank you, Brett, for talking over me as we now, as we now get ready to strap it up here. Once again, if you didn't hear Brett Wolverton clearly, let me just remind you that the only way this match will end was when an opponent taps all four corners of the turnbuckle with that, you know, with their opponent hang, uh, attached to that strap. Now, one of the fun things about strap matches and dog collar matches and, is you can use it. <laughs> well, of course you can use it, but you can't really escape your opponent. Uh, Hexen's giving it a try, but he's getting pulled in by John Malice. Like I said, you can't escape your opponent. Well, yeah, you did say that, and I was agreeing with you if you were listening to me, Jared. As you see the strap already coming into play, John Malice across the back and the chest of Hexen. That's got to hurt is now Malice in control of this match early on. The champion, the OSCW Intercontinental Champion. That means he's the champion of both North and South America. Is that right, Jared? I believe so. I believe so, too. All I know is he just got a size 15 boot in the gut. And we did not have a tournament in Rio de Janeiro as now Malice whips Hexen in. Big clothesline there by John Malice. And whipping him with that strap once again. And you got remi uh, to remind our fans watching via the internet that the mask of Hexen is on the line of this match as well as the title. So if Hexen loses, he will lose. We will see the face behind the mask of Hexen. That is a very distinct possibility here as now Hexen touches a corner. And like I said, I really want him to win so we don't have to see that mask come off. We don't know what he looks like. It could be a handsome devil under there, Jared. I don't want to take the risk. Ah, me neither. 
Let's hope John Malice wins as he straps Hexen again with that strap for good measure. And that's the idea behind a strap match. Use it as a weapon. Humble and weaken your opponent until you can touch all four corners. I think Malice actually has the strap off of his wrist. Oh, as you see, Malice pulled hard into that, that turnbuckle post. It wasn't far enough off his wrist, apparently. Ooh, and a big, big slap. Use of that strap once again. You hear that sound reverberate through the Hanahan Rec Center. Surprised Malice can fight back after nailing that corner post with his head like he did is now just back and forth the strap coming into play again Hexen now in control the former champion just strapping John Malice repeatedly with that leather strap and if you've ever been whipped by your mama Jared Shapiro with a belt that's very similar to what it feels like and it does not feel good there's a big a forearm boy. shot well I wasn't as you see Two, two corners have been touched. Hexen uh, doesn't quite make it. Now we're going to have to start all over again. It's cut cut a flip there, did Hexen. Malice using that strap to pull Hexen away from that corner. Now Malice is going to give it a try, I believe. Well, like, there's, there's one, I believe. Did that count? There we there's go. one. And maybe all we get is Hexen's back to his feet, pulling on that strap. Ooh. Oh, and there's the big boot. There's that big size 15 that we were talking about earlier is Hexen now. He's going to make his way around the ring. There's one corner. Oh, okay. There's there two. The three. Oh, we've got three, ladies and gentlemen. One more, and this match is over. We're going to have a new champion. Is Hexen just so close? But John Malice, T-bone suplex right in the middle of the ring. Catches Hexen with that maneuver. Now he's got to get up. Yeah, Malice is yeah, Malice is hurting also. What a maneuver by Malice. The quicker you stand up and hit four corners, the quicker it's done. You don't want to lay down in this type of match. Yeah, you want to get this one over as quickly as possible because once again your opponent can use that strap to his advantage. Oh, oh and Bad. Malice, oh boy, wrapped around his leg there. As we see, uh, looks like Hexen's going, no, he's going to the top turnbuckle. What's he going to do? Oh, and he misses the senton. Nobody home on that maneuver as John Malice once again had the wherewithal to escape. So far, neither man having much luck. I think Hexen's been the closest one to winning this match, tucking the touching the turnbuckles three times. You see, oh, up and over. Oh, and he's got that. And this is perfectly legal in this type of match. He's got the strap, and he's choking John Malice with it. As now he reaches. Uh-oh. And Malice touches a corner also. That sneaky John Malice. And two corners apiece. Three. three. Yes, we have three oh. by each man now. Malice... Malice is trying to stop. Oh, big backdrop. And Malice, yes, he touches the fourth corner. And it's all over, ladies and gentlemen. Still your champion, the OSCW Intercontinental Champion, John Malice. Get your barf bags ready, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that mask think, is coming off. Yeah, I think we're getting ready to see an unmasking. As you hear the, the announcement from Brett Wolverton, and we're getting ready to, oh boy, we're getting ready to see what's behind that mask. I don't know. I, I, I'm not eager with anticipation, Jared. I'm more curious if Soda City prefers Coke or Pepsi. Hmm. That's an interesting, uh, maybe John Miles can work that into his marketing. Maybe we should just ask him. Oh boy. I don't know about this. Whoa! Oh, and he says, no, I'm not going to take the mask off and... Malice, oh, with a big neck breaker. I think the mask is coming He's off. He's going to ensure that that mask comes off. Hexen's not going to have any choice. I think he is knocked unconscious. And 
Malice, oh, here it comes. Malice asking the crowd if they want to see the mask come off, and I think it's coming off, ladies and gentlemen. Hexen is going to lose his mask right here, and there it is. And there's the face. Oh, my. I was thinking that, that beard was part of the mask, maybe, but woof. Someone needs a shave. That is going to be one angry janitor when he wakes up, Jerry Shapiro. <laughs> Hide in the mop bucket. He's going to clean up this town. Ladies and gentlemen, Hexen has been unmasked. John Malice is still your OSCW Intercontinental Champion. See great, Scott Grady, excuse me, Wait a minute. referee looking on. Do you know that guy? That's old Willie. Old he was Willie. a janitor in my high school. That kind of looks like your dad. As we see, Hexen, no, he realizes he's you. lost his mask. <laughs> Maybe that guy was in prison. Anyway... Maxon has been unmasked here at OSCW. Ladies and gentlemen, for Jared the Man Shapiro, I am Jason Willis signing off exclusively on OSCW TV.